If there's one thing we've learned during the global corona pandemic, is that there's seemingly no limit to the Fed's ability to magic currency seemingly out of thin air. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that. And this has led to probably the defining meme of 2020. This is the concluding film in our series of four on Harmony's new economic model. And this time, we're looking at the path to zero issuance. One of the major criticisms leveled at proof-of-stake blockchains involves the continuous issuance of new tokens as rewards. And for many, this is just another example of... And it's common to hear the word inflation thrown around in conversations about POS chains, but it's important to take a step back here. In economics, inflation is understood as a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money against a basket of goods. And the use of this term in the context of a POS network is basically nonsense. There is no money and there is no basket of goods to measure its purchasing power against. So yes, like so many popular ideas in blockchain, inflation is a meme. Equally, Bitcoin is commonly mislabeled a deflationary asset for the same reason, but it's worth looking at Bitcoin's economic model, which is cleanly baked into the protocol. The issuance halves every four years until a maximum supply of 21 million. Simple, clear, predictable. But there's an inherent problem. You see, public blockchains rely on incentives to encourage node operators to act in the best interests of the chain. But with Bitcoin's halving model, the chain must increasingly rely on transaction fees to compensate miners for securing the network. The thing is, it's unclear when or even if transaction fees will be enough to do so. So what's our solution? Well, our model is balanced to allow transaction fees to dynamically offset issuance. Issuance plus transaction fees is set to 441 million. So as network usage increases, issuance decreases by the same amount. And when the network is fully mature and can sustain itself on transaction fees alone, issuance will naturally fall to zero. Wowzers. Token issuance is a necessary component of any incentivized public blockchain. There has to be a compelling reason for validators to supply computing power and resources. But by connecting this to the growth and maturity of the network, we create a more predictable, more stable economic model for everyone in the ecosystem. Now, if anyone mentions inflation, be sure and point out why they're wrong, won't you? And just ask yourself what the impact of the US government's $2 trillion cash injection will be on the dollars in your bank account. Is the Fed just going to print money? That's literally what Congress has told us to do. That's the authority that they've given us. Money printer goes. So that concludes our detailed look at Harmony's new economic model. If you missed the previous films, you can find them here on our channel. And if you're interested in running a validator node, staking or building on Harmony, do be sure and join our Telegram and Discord channels, linked in the description below. Money printer goes. <laughs>